Hello Benji kids and welcome to this week's Bible story time. We have a good story for you today. For the third week in a row, we are hearing about one of the prophets. If you remember back to last week's Bible story time, Pastor Dane talked about the prophet Isaiah. Two weeks ago, we heard about the prophet Jonah. And this week, we have the story of the prophet Jeremiah. Um, it's not all in your Spark Story Bible, but the beginning of Jeremiah's story is in here on page 176. So let's go ahead and read it together now. When Jeremiah was just a boy, God told him that he was going to be a prophet. He was going to tell all sorts of people about God. Jeremiah couldn't believe it. God and Jeremiah had a big talk. Jeremiah? I knew who you were before you were even growing inside your mom, God said. You were born to be a prophet. Jeremiah was nervous. But God, I'm just a kid. I don't know what to say to grown-ups, he said. We'll do it together, God said. Where you go, I will go with you. When you talk, I'll give you the words. God touched Jeremiah's lips. Now your mouth is full of my words, God announced. Go tell everybody about my love. God and Jeremiah made a good team. Jeremiah took God's love to many people in many places. Jeremiah took God's love to many people in many places. Do you remember how I said that this was just the beginning of Jeremiah's story? Well, the rest of the story is about how Jeremiah took God's word to people in many places and what the message was to those people. And one of the most important messages that Jeremiah shared with the people about God's love was something called the New Covenant. And covenant is just one of those fancy church words that we use. But all a covenant is, is an agreement between two people where both sides agree to follow some rules. And the problem with covenants in the Bible is that Usually God is pretty good at holding up God's side of the covenant, but people are pretty bad at following the rules that we agreed to. And so God saw the people breaking their promises over and over again and finally said, well, you know what? This covenant thing obviously isn't working. You people can't seem to get it right. And so forget the covenants. God said, I'm going to make a new covenant. We're going to make a new agreement. And the new agreement is that God is not going to judge people based on whether or not they can follow the rules anymore. This was the message that Jeremiah got to deliver. I will forgive them and remember their sins no more, God said. That's a pretty good message, right? I will forgive them and remember their sins no more. But it's kind of hard to imagine that God could just forget all of the things that we've done wrong. So I have a magic trick for us to do together today to help us visualize how amazing it is what God is promising. And you can follow along at home. All you'll need is a cloth or some type of square towel and then some coins. And I'm not going to tell you the secret to the magic trick, but I promise that if you follow what you see me doing here, that it'll work for you too. So let's pretend that these coins represent all of the mistakes that I've made. We would need more coins to represent all of them, but let's just pretend. And so um, this coin represents the time that I talked on the phone with a friend and I was kind of rude to her. And then we'll put in two more pennies um, for the times that I was tired and I, I snipped at my fiance. And then there was that one weekend that um, I slept in instead of going to church. Don't tell anyone. And then, uh, you know, last week I saw some pictures of my friends on Facebook and I was pretty jealous because they looked like they were having such a good time without me and I, I feel bad about that one, so I'll put in a dime. And then uh, there was the time when I saw some people doing something that I didn't like and instead of talking to them about it, I just got really, really mad. Uh, it happened a couple times, so I'll put in a couple dimes for that. And then um, I still feel bad about all the times growing up when I was mean to my parents and mean to my brother. And of course it happened more than once. And you know what? We'll just put them all in there. Um, and uh, it starts to feel pretty heavy. And to be honest, I still feel uh, pretty bad about most of these things. And if I had to pay it off to make it better, I don't know that I could. I can't take back 
the words that I said or the things that I felt or the way that I acted. But when God looks at me and when God looks at you, God forgives me and remembers my sins no more. God forgives me and remembers my sins no more. And that doesn't mean that there's not consequences for our actions and that I can just do whatever I want. But it does mean that God's not holding our mistakes against us. This is the new covenant and the good news that Jeremiah got to share. That God forgives us no matter how bad our mistakes are. And it's not even a magic trick. With God, it's the real deal. That's all I have for today. Have a great week. Stay safe and healthy. And keep an eye out for some fun Advent activities coming in the mail sometime soon. Take care. Bye.